Hey guys, um, this tutorial is going to focus on unwrapping a cylindrical object. Um, actually creating a cylindrical object, we're going to be building a Red Bull can and then we're going to unwrap it and texture it too. But if you've not seen um, the video on unwrapping a box uh, to create a PC tower, then I highly recommend that you watch that first. Because uh, that one, you know, is kind of like the step before this you know it's a lot easier to kind of understand that one and I don't want you to kind of try and do this and get lost halfway so I really do encourage you um, to watch that tutorial first and then move on to this one um, so what we're gonna start off uh, in this tutorial is by creating a cylinder so if I just kind of create a generic kind of long cylindrical shape which you know we know that we're creating a red ball can so it's really good that you you know you you have a reference image of a red ball can and so so that you can build you know from it and see how it shapes I guess you know don't assume any object that you're building looks the way you think it does you should always have a reference image or the object in front of you if you if it's available um, so just ensure that you are building from some sort of reference the next thing is of course to configure the viewports so hit the little plus in the top left corner of your perspective view click configure deselect uh, use selection brackets and turn on edge faces and make sure it's applied to all viewports so we've got that there straight away I can see that there's uh, a bit too many polys there so all I'm going to do is cut down the height segments yeah so we don't need all these edges that are in there I'm going to cut them all the way down uh, to one. Uh, the next step, I'm going to go to my modify tab, just up here, and I'm going to convert this to an editable poly so I can start to change this cylinder uh, and make it look a little bit more like this can. So, the way I'm going to do that is, you know, analyze the shape. So, I know at the top here it's just kind of curves in a little bit and then it comes out again for this, for this kind of rim around the top of the can. So I'm just going to go on poly select, so polygon selection, select the top polygon and I'm just going to extrude slightly, so not that much, I'm just going to pull that down about there, hit the tick, then go on the scale tool, so the select and uniform scale tool and I'm going to scale down with this middle triangle so it's really important now that you know which way you're scaling if you kind of select the wrong one you'll create kind of odd effects like this so make sure you select you know right in the middle so these three triangles in the middle are all highlighted like this and all that means is that it's going to scale down in all axis all axes at the same time yeah so it's equally scaled down from every direction so I've got that kind of cab that just comes in like that and now I need to extrude again and this time extrude out slightly you can see how this kind of comes out if you want to be absolutely really precise right you need to extrude up really really slightly like so and then scale that up with that middle area like so and then extrude up to this sort of amount hit the tick just keep going back and forth so you know that you're creating it in, in the right kind of shape if you find that that extrusion isn't high enough then you can kind of just drag it up a little more like that that's fine then the next step is I need to kind of extrude down I, I need to create this kind of this gap where the actual um, the top of the can is the area which you open so I'm gonna create the rim just around it so I'm just gonna bevel it so I need to create a little outline around here so you just click the options or the settings next to bevel which is a little box 
<laughs> see straight away it's added some height to it and I don't want any height so by default it will most likely do that so you need to make sure that you change this box down uh, to zero the one in the middle just there so zero that press enter and straight away you can see that you know there's an outline on there we can change the thickness of the outline you know push it out push it in but we don't want it to be very thick so I'm going to do mine like that that's okay hit the tick so that's a little kind of thin just rim around there then you're going to click on to extrude and then drag these arrows down to like a minus value and have a look again and just think how, how deep is this area just here that's okay and if you hit the tick so that's that's the top of, of your can you know you could go into further detail and make the kind of rim around it if you really wish to and the way you do that and I will do this really quickly because I don't want to sort of spend too much time on modeling because this is primarily an unwrapping tutorial uh, I'm just going to extrude up did I do that twice by accident just click on extrude and you want to kind of do it just a small amount extrude like this so you extruding up hit the tick and then you want to scale down with the middle again like so so can you see how you've got this kind of little gap around the sides if you find that gaps too large or too deep then again just just like I said with that top one selected you can kind of just drag that down so it becomes a little bit more rounded yeah now that that's selected and that I mean that's that's all done at the top there um, you can kind of work on the bottom which is a really kind of similar task you just need to look at the image there and you know that it curves down a little bit it kind of just curves in so if we extrude that's okay just a small amount just scale down with the middle again that's it. See, it, see how that curves you know you can again analyze the bottom of, of the can and stuff like that but I'm not going to worry too much um, you do know however that the bo bottom of a can does have uh, it's kind of like curved isn't it it's kind of um, like a dent under underneath the can so I'm just going to create a bevel so there's a bit of an outline around there like so and then I'm going to actually bevel it a few more times and I'm going to explain why in, in, in a second I'm going to do this quite a lot like this and if I hit the plus it's going to sort of reapply those settings again like that and then again and then hit the, the, the tick and what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to pull this middle area up like so and if I go on my edge tool I can kind of select this this ring just here and the way you select a ring is you hit loop and it should do that yeah so I'm gonna do do that again you click on one edge and if I want to select the whole kind of ring you hit loop and it will select it all and then you just pull that up so now if I select them all hit loop I've got all three of, well not all three apart from the middle one um, the middle one for some reason I do need to select all the edges for by holding control but don't worry it doesn't take too long uh, I'm just going to sort of move those all up like so yeah so you just kind of make it so it looks kind of dented at, at the bottom like so now one thing you've probably noticed is that you know if I get rid of the edges by pressing F4 it's really hard edges on those areas yeah on the new areas that I've just created there's really kind of hard edges which is not what we want so if you kind of select make sure you're in polygon select and select all the polygons so either by clicking and dragging over, over them all or by pressing control A you can then scroll all, all the way down and hit auto smooth and that's like a really 
good tool because it'll automatically smooth those areas for you. So you can see how the bottom's really rounded now, which is exactly the effect we want. Uh, and the top, you know, you've got that kind of curve there, which is really good, and the inside area too. Perfect. So what I'm going to kind of do now is I'm going to just go into unwrapping this. In fact, what I'll do is I'll create another video on how to unwrap it and texture it. So um, make sure you follow on from this video. Um, so I guess the next one will be the exact same title but with the part two at the end of the name. So I'll see you there.